George is ready for the next one. We're ready for the next highlight. LeBron James and the Heat hosting the Bucks, one of Ray Allen's former teams without Ray Ray. He was out again recovering from his illness, and LeBron James bum rushes the cup, heat up 11. Oh, yeah. That's, you can get a heavy dose of this when all those guys are out. You're going to get King James coming to the basket with thunder. Oh, my goodness. He put Epe Udo on a poster and in the rim. And look at this fan. Was That's, that an OMG moment? Yes. Yeah. Oh, and he's growling <laughs> right back at you. <laughs> and then LeBron drives, and he is tied up by Zaza Pachulia, and LeBron James did not like it. No, he's like, get up off me. I know y'all trying to slow me down, but you don't have to grab me. I'm OK. That's enough. Get up off me, Zaza. Now, Zaza, you know, he's trying to hold him up or whatever, but Stack, at some point, you just got to let go, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, you know, when you got a freight train coming at you, you got to hold on for dear life. You know? He's just doing the best that he can. <laughs> Chris Bosh had 15. LeBron James had 17. Did you say freight train? No, and look at that. Everybody moved out the way of that freight train I that time. I didn't know a freight train could turn around and go backwards. <laughs> yes, man. Yes, sir. That's, that's the newest seller. <laughs> Eat up 56-38 at halftime. You're like, of course they were. And then LeBron fading, beating the shot clock. Do not leave a young man down there by himself. He needs help. As you can see here, uh, this is late third quarter. Back to LeBron for three. This would be his last second and his last shot of the game. No fourth quarter action required for LBJ. Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Dwayne with Wade the over there. Okay. Yes. See you, Dwayne. That guy can put the gear together, can he? The Heat win at 96-77. The champs never trailed in sweeping the Bucks three zip for the first time since 04-05. And the Heat stay percentage points ahead of the Pacers. It's the fourth straight win from Miami. They're now 52 and 22. D Wade, by the way, has missed six of the last eight with various injuries. The Bucks still worst record in the NBA. As we take a look at the Heat during this four-game run, look at the point differential, plus 20.5. Yeah, I let you know that defense, or should I say, that championship defense is starting to get refocused in these last eight or nine games because they understand the big prize is next. Three of those four opponents were below the playoff line. The Raptors, uh, their victim on Monday night being the only one above. And... Uh, this is going to be fun down the stretch right here. The Miami Heat still just percentage points ahead of Indiana. Indiana's made it their priority, their goal all year to get that number one spot. Uh, how deflating would it be for the Pacers if they finish two in the East? Well, I, I think they shouldn't look at it like that. I mean, at this point right now, the way Miami's engaged defensively, I mean, I think it's theirs to lose. I mean, I think they they have the number one spot right now, and I, I don't see them losing that because those are great numbers. 41% field goal defense, holding teams to, you know, paltry three-point shooting. Um, that's that's going to be tough to tough to beat out. The Heat play two more games down the stretch. Five of those eight are at home. Indy has four of their last six on the road. Break it down. I'm a little upset to be honest with you. Because from day one, Coach Vogel said, I want game seven in Indiana. And we always say, watch out what you ask for, because you might mess around again. So you had the number one seed all the way through. And the other night, the same question was asked. He's like, we're not worried about it. Mm -hmm. How can you not be worried about it all of a sudden where it's something that you've been preaching all year long and you were doing it until this last little sketch where things haven't been going well? So, Frank Vogel, get back to being that confident guy you were when you first got this job, when you said, this team's going to be on the playoffs, this team's going to play hard, I'm going to make sure they do it. I want to see that Frank Vogel back.